So what I'd like to do to start with is just show you the components and then you'll see how quickly we can assemble the design. So when we make an apple twist, particularly if we want to make a bigger one than, than normal, we really need to make sure the balloon is nicely stretched. So I'm going to take the balloon I'm going to work with and I'm actually going to fully inflate it so it really has been stretched to its maximum point. I'm then going to release the air and that means we've now created a memory in the balloon into the latex. So now that when we try and distort it, it will actually happily or easily go back into a, a bigger shape. So we're going to put two pumps into, into the into the balloon and we're going to knot it close to the rolled end like so. We're going to need uh, a 160 Q for each of the cells which is what I'm going to call them of the caterpillar and so I'm just going to cut it in half and we start off by making a connection point at this end so we're just going to use our cinch knot technique where we create two loops slide that over the knot like so then we're going to push down and you'll find this a little bit harder than normal but it's 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 fine you can feel the latex isn't over stretched stretched if you find that your balloons are popping then you really haven't stretched them enough twist it one two three times take the other half of the 160 q just gently roll it round three or four times release it and then push the knot back into the center and then you've got a very very strong connection we need uh, we need quite a number of these I think I've decided to use about nine cells and I'm going to work with the green and the lime green we also need to make a tail and we also need to add the head on so rather than tie the head and the tails in afterwards it's actually a lot easier if we try and connect them as we go so first of all we will inflate the head and as you'll see it's a googly eye five inch which is very cool and we're just going to knot this balloon we're going to take a green five inch fully inflate it so it's nice and stretched release the air and put two pumps back in now this time, because I'm going to put some extra stress on it, I'm just going to let a little bit more of the air out and I'm going to connect the head directly to the 5 inch and again try and do that near the beaded end like so. Just prepare your scrap for the other end because you need a connection point. So you're going to gently push both of the beads, the knots into the balloon, grab hold of them, even if the head's slightly off centre, don't worry can correct that afterwards. Twist it one, two, and three times. Stretch the 160 degree round. One, two, and three. Just correct it. Get it more centralized. Although you'll probably find that when you make the caterpillar, that having it at a slight angle might be a, at an advantage anyway. So there we've got ours connected there. For the tail, we're going to use the tip of a 260Q. So we're just going to cut that off, inflate it, decide on how long you want it to be, it doesn't need to be too long, give it a nice shape, it's a little bit unusual. And then we're going to do exactly the same as we just did with the head and the cell. So one, two, three, five, fully inflate it, release the air. Bring it back two pumps. One, two. Tie the tail directly into the knot. I'm just going to trim off that little extra bit there. And then I'm just going to push the bead right into the center. Grab one, two, three. One, wrap those round. and now you have the tail. So we've, we've made up all the components of the design. So now it's just a case of assembling it. So we're going to take each cell, we're, gonna, we're going to alternate the greens. When you attach these together, you really need to make sure that they're pulled in as tightly as you can, otherwise it won't sit neatly. Remove the excess as you go. OK, 
Okay, we don't need those two. So now we've created our caterpillar. Now we're just going to make a little bit of a shape here. So we need some feet. Um, for the feet, I've used uh, five inch balloons that I've actually double stuffed. And um, on this occasion, I've actually filled them with water. They're very, very strong as long as you use two balloons. Um, you could also use sand. You just need to make sure that they're nice and neat and that they'll fit neatly into the design. And you need two sets of those. I'm just going to trim off the excess there. We don't need to see those. And then we're just going to take one pair at the base, like so. And then we're just going to allow our caterpillar to move. You can just move the cells into the position that you want them. And slide that pair into there. 